first ever. Hey, how's it going YouTube? Welcome back to another episode of Oryx Farm Market. As you can see, I'm in a very different environment here because we're going to start off on a new series. Once again, I'm all about the new series right now. And today we're going to actually start cooking. I have here some strawberries. These guys are going to be the main event right here because strawberries are really popular and they're really in right now. So I actually have two recipes. One I'm gonna try and another I've been making for a little bit while now. The first one we're gonna make right over here, we're gonna make some smoothies. I like to call this the sweet berry smoothie. So what you're gonna need for this recipe is some strawberries, some non-fat Greek yogurt or whatever flavor yogurt you want, some blueberries, chai seeds, a banana, milk, and of course a cute cup to hold it all in. So now we're gonna go ahead and get started with our uh, smoothie that we have. I usually make this for the morning, you can do whatever, and I usually don't do this in any particular order. So I'm first going to do the yogurt. Now you can use whatever yogurt you like, whether it's vanilla, non-fat, whichever. I kinda just pick this one because of the flavor. And you can just get them in these little containers, or if you want, you can actually get the big bulk branded kind and just get two thirds of a cup of that yogurt and that'll work out just fine as well. I really like the Yoplait only because it has low sodium and low calories and it gets you that protein for the day. Now that we got our yogurt in, I'll go ahead and put in some a handful of blueberries. And then of course, I'll put in some strawberries. Now, again, I'll only put in a handful because you don't want too much. And of course, you can have these frozen if you want or if you just want them fresh, that's fine too. Now I'm gonna go ahead and take a banana You can use a whole banana, half a banana. That's up to you. I actually like to put all the banana in because I like the flavor it gives. And now I'll put in some chai seeds. I love chai seeds because they're actually really good for your hair and nails. Now you don't have to put a whole lot in. I'm actually putting in um, one fourth of a teaspoon may actually put a little bit more in there. And you won't be able to taste any of this, uh, of the chai seed, I mean, once you blend it all together. And then once we're done with that, we're gonna go ahead and pour in some milk. Now I have almost a full cup of milk here. You don't have to put in that much. I may only fill it up until I can't see most of the solids of my food, like right there. You can actually put in some ice in here as well if you want it to be more of a smoothie kind of feel. Or you don't have to put any ice in at all and give it more of a juice type of feel. All right, now I'm gonna go ahead and press blend. Now let's go ahead and pour it in our cup. And there you go, that's our sweet berry smoothie. All right, now we're actually gonna start a new recipe. I have barely looked at this recipe yet, so I'm gonna be making it with you guys for the very first time. It's uh, called a strawberry rhubarb cobbler. So this is gonna be really exciting. If I didn't mention before, all of the stuff that I used, especially the veggie stuff, is all homegrown here on the farm, fresh and just ready to go. All right, so I'm actually gonna use my phone and I'm gonna follow the recipe on here. So first things first, it told me to preheat the oven at 400, which I did. And next is, it actually wants me to melt the butter, which is this, this is unsalted butter. I'm gonna use four tablespoons. I may actually need a cutting board. Thank you. So I'm gonna cut this in half. I've been told I need to cut the butter more. Yeah, it'll you know, melt better. So I'm gonna cut this butter some more. It'll melt. So it'll melt better. 
And then once the butter is melted, I'm gonna add in my rhubarb. So in my big bowl here, I'm going to mix my strawberries with vanilla, steva, and lemon juice. So my strawberries, I got my fresh strawberries here. I actually need to cut up my strawberries more. Just dice them up. This is actually a really big recipe and I cut it in half since there's not many of me. Say a Barney bowl. I don't think that'll be big enough. Well, that's not gonna be big enough because this is a whole quart of strawberries. Okay, so now that our butter has melted, it just came out of the oven, we're going to put some rhubarb in. And this one called, this is three stalks. So I'm gonna put all this stuff in. The recipe actually called for six or eight, but that was way too much. Oops, missed one there. All right, so I'm gonna actually set this off to the side with the hot pad. We're gonna cut up the rest of our strawberries. No. Susan better love this freaking cobbler. Yeah. I did this for her. Cobbler for me. All right, so I pretty much got all my strawberries chopped up here. Now this calls for Steva. I'm actually not gonna put a whole lot of this in because I want to have as much natural sugar as possible. I may only put a little bit in. I put in about half a pack. All right, then we're gonna put in one, actually a half a teaspoon of vanilla because this is only half the recipe. Oops, overflowed a little bit. That's all right. <laughs> okay, once we do that, we're gonna mix it together. Like a so. So now I'm done with my strawberry mixture and I'm actually gonna put it into the rhubarb. And then we're gonna let that bake for about five minutes. I'm gonna stir the rhubarb into the strawberries. I'm gonna stir the rhubarb into the strawberries. Focus camera, there you go. All right, next we're actually gonna do the topping. And for the topping, it called for coconut flour. I have never heard of this ever before in my life, but it exists. So I'm gonna use one third cup. So I'm gonna rub it in between my hands to get rid of the clumps. That actually smells really good. Add eggs, vanilla, and whisk. And I lost my teaspoons. So guessology. I like vanilla, so that's okay. Hey, that's a shell. Uh -oh. You're fired. Uh. I got it. We gonna mix this up. In we go. All right, using another pack of Steva. Only gonna use a little bit of this. And then it actually calls for salt. I'm not gonna use a lot of salt. I'm probably gonna only use a pinch of salt. Like that. I'm gonna put it in there because I haven't used that thing yet. Ooh, cinnamon. I love cinnamon. So I have a, I had a 1 8 teaspoon and I put two spoonfuls of the cinnamon in. The cinnamon is also optional. You don't have to put that in, but I put it in because I love cinnamon. 
Now we have one teaspoon of apple vinegar cider. But we're only going to use a half of a teaspoon. Next, we're gonna put in some baking soda. We're gonna do, it's half of a teaspoon, so we're gonna put two of these one-eighths in. And a half cup of water. But it's actually not gonna be a half cup, quarter cup of water. Woohoo. Perfect. Now we're going to whisk it all together once again. All right, so now we're going to place a little bit of this topping. So now we're done with this, we're gonna go ahead and we're gonna put it in the oven for 20 to 25 minutes or until it's lightly brown. Ta-da! Doesn't this all look so good? And it's all made right here from these strawberries. These strawberries are the main ingredient. There's no artificial sweeteners, no nothing artificial. It's all fresh, as we would like to say. So here it is. Here's my first ever baking video that I ever did. Sorry, things kind of went a little crazy, but you know, when you're doing stuff for the first time and when it's just you and your mom, you know, things can get a little out of control. So I hope you guys liked this video. If you did, be sure to give it a like and to subscribe. S, right? This way or this way. And be sure to leave a comment in the comment section down below whether or not you like this video, if you're interested in maybe more videos like this on the different recipes that we use. There's more stuff and I would love to show you guys. I'm also gonna leave the recipe for these two items down in the description down below. So if you wanna make this for yourself, go ahead and do it and send me a picture, put it on Facebook or even make a video about it and show it to me. I would love to see it. So with that being said, I hope you guys enjoyed the show and I'll see you next time. Bye. I forgot a rest I forgot something. Ooh, what was that? Okay.